Einstein said that there must be an equation one inch long, no more than one inch long, which would allow us to understand the secrets of the entire universe, including reading God's thoughts. Now Einstein himself failed. As a consequence, we cannot resolve within Einstein's equations whether or not time travel is really possible or not. Um, I have a 19-year-old son that spends more time keeping me up to date on what's going on with this than I ever will. One of the things that's, that was written up in the Hustler interview was the fact that maybe he is the uh, John Teeter himself per perpetrating the hoax. As far as I know, no. I wouldn't put it past my son to do anything, but I don't think so. Um, I think that uh, it's just a coincidence at this point that uh, some of the things that he's done coincide with some of the postings that have been out there. Whether this stuff is real or not, I don't, you know, for me, this is just fun to play with at the moment. I'm having a good time going through it. I'm often asked if I believe in all this, if I believe in time travel, and I have to say that five years ago, I would say no. I would say time travel is impossible. But now, um, after John has been here and left, it's come to my attention that there is real science now behind time travel. We have to use the laws of physics as we know them to then begin to extrapolate into the possibilities of time travel, but again, the energy requirements are too severe. Plutonium, an atomic bomb, simply does not have the energy necessary to open up gateways through space and time. I, I think that um, probably all people have had some time in their life where um, they've done something that they would go back and want to correct. So yeah, I, th I think that there are, there are times in my life that if I had a time machine, I'd probably go back and try to, uh, to mend whatever damage I thought I might have done.